हेलो दिस इज डॉक्टर महेश कल्याण शेट्टी असोसिएट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ सिविल इंजीनियरिंग वालचंद इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी सोलापुर इन दिस सेशन वील डिस्कस अबाउट द एनालिसिस ऑफ इनडिटर्मिनेट स्ट्रक्चर बाय मोमेंट डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन मेथड एंड स्पेसिफिकली वील फोकस ऑन बीम्स द लर्निंग आउटकम विल बी एट द एंड ऑफ दिस सेशन students will be able to analyze indeterminate beams using moment distribution method let us take an example now uh, analyze the beam as shown in figure 1 by moment distribution method and uh, ei is constant so we have this typical beam here uh, where a and d ends are fixed and at b and c we have a interior support and this beam is subjected to loading of uh, udl 20 kN on span bc and a point load of 250 kN at the center of cd span now let us see how to analyze this indeterminate beam now using moment distribution method we have to start with the determination of uh, the stiffnesses so we have to find the stiffness of all the members and then we have to find the stiffness of joints so if i consider joint b here we have two members meeting here ba and bc so the stiffness of member ba will be 4 ea by l since opposite end is fixed here and for bc also it will be 4 ea by l because c is the interior support so we have 4 ea by l for both the spans accordingly we substitute the values and the summation of these two stiffnesses will give me a stiffness of joint b so the stiffness of joint b is nothing but it is a summation of kba and kbc similarly we determine uh, the stiffness for member cb as well as cd now for cb we have again 4a by l and for cd since it is fixed end we have 4a by l accordingly the summation of these two stiffnesses gives the stiffness of joint c then we have to calculate the distribution factor as we are aware that distribution factor is nothing but its ratio of the stiffness of the member to the stiffness of the joint so if i consider joint b here the distribution factor ba and bc will be uh, the stiffness of the member divided by stiffness of the joint so denominator is the stiffness of the joint numerator is the stiffness of the member the ratio is 0.5 for c also we can determine the distribution factor cb again you can see here um, stiffness of cb divided by stiffness of joint c now the denominator here it comes out to be 0.4 and for cd it comes out to be 0.6 then the next step is to calculate the fixed end moments now we know that uh, for ab there is no load therefore a fixed end moment for ab span is not present however for bc we have the loading present and it is a typical case of uh, uh, fixed beam subjected to udl so we have a standard case and the fixed end moments are wl square by 12 accordingly uh, fem bc is minus uh, because it is anti clockwise and fem cb is plus since it is clockwise so the magnitudes are minus 240 and plus 240 then for cd also we determine the fixed end moment Uh, as the standard case is known to us uh, the fixed end moments are pl by 8 therefore cd is minus pl by 8 that is minus 250 and uh, dc is plus 250 as per our uh, standard cases we get these uh, fixed end moments before we proceed further let us go for some review questions so i request you to take a pause and answer these questions addition of a distribution factor of all the members meeting at a joint is always equal to four options are there the second question is the stiffness of member with far end fixed is the four options so you think over it get the answer and then resume the video welcome back these are the answers for the review questions so the first question the answer is one because the distribution factor summation of distribution factors at a joint is always equal to 1 and the stiffness of member with far end fixed is 4a by l that already we discussed let us continue with our problem 
Now once we get all the basic data, then we have to go for the moment distribution process. For that, uh, we have to prepare one table here, wherein uh, all the informations are provided. Uh, joints A, B, C, D, so four joints are there. Member, so A, B, B, A, at B we have two members, at C we have two members, and at D we have one member. Then the distribution factor of all the members are uh, written here, as we already determined. Then the fixed end moments also we, we determine that is to be substituted here. So fixed end moment will be only for BC uh, span. So BC and CB, it is minus 240 plus 240. And of course it is for CD also since we have a load for CD minus 250 plus 250. Then after this we shall go for the distribution. Uh, for that we have to balance the joints first. For example, if I look at uh, joint B here, uh, the BC and BA, uh, it is not balanced. So there is unbalanced moment of plus 240. Uh, so that plus 240 is to be distributed here uh, based on the distribution factor 0 0.5, 0 0.5. So 120 transverses, 120 transfers here. In the same way here at C also, we have uh, unbalanced moment minus 10. And that plus 10 we have to apply. Out of plus 10, 0.4 fraction is applied here and 0.6 fraction is applied here. This is how we go for the distribution first and once the distribution is over then we go for a carryover. So from B carryover is possible towards A, from C carryover is possible towards D, from B carryover takes place towards C and for from C also the carryover takes place towards B. So these all carryovers will uh, uh, perform here. So this minus one, to, uh, sorry, plus 120, 50% uh, transfers here. Then this 120, 60 transfers here, four, two transfers here. Then from six, three is transferred here. In this way, we go for the carryover. Now once the carryover is complete, then the balancing uh, gets disturbed again. You can see here, now this two is an additional moment come to join B. So therefore this two is to be balanced, therefore minus two is to be applied. Out of that minus 2, 50% is transferred here, 50% is transferred here. Then plus 60 is unbalanced moment. Uh, so minus 60 we have to apply. Out of that minus 60, 0.4% is transferred here, 0.6% is transferred here. So this is how we distribute it. And after the distribution is on, over, again carryover takes place. In this way, it's an iterative process. Once this uh, cycle first cycle is over, you have to go for a second cycle, third cycle. So number of cycles we have to perform till we get a very small and fractional moment left. You can see here it is 0 0.01, 0 0.01. So at that uh, level we can stop that process and then we can take a summation of all these moments so that we get the final moments of all the members. So here at the last row you can see uh, the summation uh, is taken and these are the final moments of the members. Once the moments are determined, then we shall go for the free body diagrams. So using our uh, final values, which obtained in the previous slide, we can draw the free body diagram AB. So here this is 62.5 AB and uh, BA is uh, 125.2 kN meter. Then uh, BC, one not, sorry, it is 125.2 kN meter only. This moment is 281.5 kN meter and for CD, in the same way we draw the free body diagram and once we get the free body diagram we can draw the bending moment diagram as well as shear force diagram. So with the help of this uh, bending uh, the free body diagram see you can see here this bending moment diagram is constructed. So here it is 62.5 moment positive is present here. So here it is 125.2 kN meter at support B. So it is 125.2 since it is hogging, it is minus. Here also we get a hogging moment 281.5 kN meter here. And here the last moment is 234.3 kN meter, which is hogging in nature here. So in this way, we draw the bending moment diagram from the free body diagram. And the this is positive, this is negative. In this way, we can uh, just uh, give the proper labeling to this. These are the references which are used for the presentation. Thank you.
थैंक यू वेरी मच